Hello humans, so basically what bothered me about Elite Dangerous was that it is the most beautiful game in existence, let's not deny that. You can create an infinite number of sci-fi scenes on the fly, now who would not want that? Who has not fantasized about that since being a very small child? Um, the only problem with it is that they've got the colours wrong. In my opinion, they've made the sky way too blue and cloudy and grey and it's not black, there's no velvetiness to it. Now what you're looking at right now is a tool that's going to help you fix that. I wrote this tool based on the work of Horizon and AD. It's basically you're affecting the tone maps of the game, which is a way of affecting the brightness levels in clever ways. Like for example, you can dim the night sky without really affecting the planets or the hard brightness. I'm going to show you why I did this, okay? What I don't like about Elite Dangerous is color levels is, well, you can see for yourself, the sky is not black, it's blue. It's a dark blue admittedly, but it's blue. It's blotchy, it stands out, the shadow of the night side of the planet, when it meets the night sky, it's darker than the night sky, which just doesn't make sense to me. So I've always been on the lookout for a way of darkening the night sky without darkening everything else, which is kind of a bummer. And I think I've come up with a way, thanks to, as I say, this tone mapping thing. This is what the game looks like with my tone map that I've made. You can make your own, you don't have to stick with this one, but this is just an example of what it can do, and I have to say, that my one is perfect for me, like literally, look at that. The night sky of the planet, the night side of the planet meets the darkness of the sky and you cannot see the transition, especially in VR. In VR that is just, there's no boundary there. It's like looking at a crescent moon. That side you just can't see. And you can see it's a lot darker everywhere. And the ship is still nice and bright. Let's just compare before, after, before, after. And I just noticed that we are discovering Pluto. Watch how that planet over there moves. That's how they discover Pluto, that's pretty cool. But really, I just cannot emphasize how much this improved the look of the game for me. I've also got some additional tweaks, like I've incre increased the galaxy map brightness levels. But um, look how bright the cockpit still is. It's still perfectly bright. The planet is perfectly bright, yet the sky is now fixed. Now, you don't just have to use tone wraps to do stuff like this. Tone maps can be used to do all kinds of crazy things, like I've got, come up with all these just with my testing. For example, if you do it like this, it takes on kind of a graphic novel type look. It's very stylish, very almost cartoony. I've come up with like a psychedelic one. There's quite a few psychedelic ones, you don't have to stick with that. There's even an inverted one. These are just for fun, but people have got their own variants and the darkness one. You can also make one where the sky's a bit brighter. So if you've got an OLED screen like on a VR headset, like the Oculus Rift, you can actually just slightly brighten the night sky so there's no more ghosting, black smearing it's called. So this tool works on this really weird formula here. Basically that's the formula and these are the variables and they've got names like toe strength and shoulder strength and all that. The green one is the Elite's default curve and the red one is the curve that you're coming up with. And ED Profiler does that curve too as you can see, well you can't see right now, but when the curve is in a sensible way you can see it here and as you adjust you can see the curve moving. And the screenshot updating, which is what this tool is all about, you can actually prepare your tone maps without having to start the game over and over. That's what's so cool about it. So just changing these gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. You can also randomize, so you get some pretty cool ones like that. That's how I came up with the inverted one, for example. Um, it also shows you the limits. When you click on full, these numbers will change really wildly. You get some very bizarre things, usually way over bleached. That's how I found the inverted one. You can then save them using the save to new, so this is the testy test. Testy test has been created! We can save to existing if you decide to change it slightly. You can adjust the HUD brightness here. I've done this by eye, but it's pretty accurate, same with the gamma. So it will show you what the game will look like on different gammas as well. These uh, inverted ones are a bit freaky, they really are quite psychedelic. Everything changes just as you move your head, especially in VR. It's really quite awesome, you have to try it. There's more information over here and you can do all kinds of cool things like locking it and basically that is how the tool works. Now, once you've done it, you click apply and it will be applied to the game. Or, you don't have to do it through this screen because it's been saved and it's also saved to your profile. So for example, VR Planets has AD's tone map saved to and VR Space has got my one saved to, just for example. And if this is ticked and then you click apply, then it will apply to the game when you apply the profile. Exactly how ED Profile is supposed to work. And in case you don't know what ED Profiler is, well basically that is what you need to download in order to get this tool working. You go to this website found in the description, 
when I say website, I mean this forum thread, of course, of course, of course. And um, it gives you some information and also any updates that I add will go here. So good to subscribe to this thread. And this is where you can write feedback and stuff like that. So yeah, you click here, I'll bring you to this site. When you click there, I'll bring you to this page. You click install, you install ED Profiler, and then this is what it looks like. And then you click on that to get your filmic tone maps. I hope that's been helpful. I hope you find some really cool things. In the description, I have got a link to a thread where I intend people to gather their tone maps. I've already put mine there with the values as well as the screenshots, and I hope you do the same. I want to get some good ones, and I will, of course, add them so that anyone who installs ED Profiler will get your ones if you add them to that thread. So please share yours. I'd be very happy to see some really cool ones, especially based on furthering the exploration tones that we were looking for, the moodiness of space. I like to have things really dark. I've got gamma always in the middle. That's how I base mine. And I fly in cockpits that don't have many lights and I tend to turn the hard lights off with Control or G as much as I can. And in VR, it's absolutely immersive. The sky is black, the stars twinkle. It's exactly how I wanted it. Nothing's missing. There's no problems. There's, it's just beautiful. It's just how space was supposed to look. I literally think that the way I'm playing it is way better than the way the Frontier developers made the game. So please try it out. You really have to try it out to see it. The screenshot on the video is not going to be good enough. It doesn't capture everything. The color levels come out a bit wrong in the recording. Just try it. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. It's a very lightweight program. It's free, bug free as far as I can tell. Although if there are bugs or inaccuracies, you can always contact me. I respond very quickly. And of course, you're always welcome to donate. Absolutely don't have to. It's a 100% free program. And just stay tuned because I've got another amazing tool that I've added to it and I'm going to make a video about that very soon. So long humans.